I'm just waiting for the first hate comment of like, oh my god, she ruined her hair. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here and you didn't already, my name is Tart and thank you so much for being here. Don't forget, if you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. I was sitting and I was cutting my bangs. I just got out of the shower and I was thinking, why don't I just show you guys how I cut my hair at home. My hair was once super, super long. I ended up cutting it all off to about here. I filmed all the footage, but either my kids deleted it when they got into my phone or something. Quick disclaimer, I am not telling you to cut your hair at home. I am not showing you how to cut your hair at home. I am just cutting my own hair at home. To me, hair is just hair. I am that YouTuber that would have a me shaving my head video in the near future. Not kidding. I know it probably won't look straight. I know it probably won't look good. That's okay. It's just hair. It is what it is. I can already see that my bangs aren't straight. That's fine with me. It's just bangs, you know? That's, that's just how we're gonna roll. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it real quick. Probably going to make a mess. Oh well. Just take a really small comb like this and find yourself some really good scissors. I got these at the dollar store for like $4. They do me pretty good. I cut my hair all the time with them. I have about five pairs of them and I have very fine hair so I can get away with this. But... So the whole point is to cut a little bit of hair and then grab a little bit more next to it with a little bit of the hair you've already cut. I'm doing this in a mirror <laughs> and that's how I get it semi even. Doesn't turn out perfect, but that's just how I do it. So you see here there's like hair that's shorter and then there's hair that long that's longer uh, where that longer hair is to where the short hair is some people say to not cut horizontally i do a mix of both if you care a lot about your hair don't be cutting it at home and i actually cut other people's hair better than i cut my own hair <laughs> i cut so many people's hair it's kind of ridiculous when i was in hair school hair cutting was not my forte i still haven't posted that video about why i got kicked out of hair school and everybody thinks on my Brad Mondo video that it's because I was bad at hair. But that has nothing to do with why I got kicked out. Even though this video is probably going to be like 10 minutes for you guys, for me it's going to be way longer because I just take my time. The back is the trickiest part, just like with dyeing your hair and everything like that. And if I'm looking this way, it's because I have a mirror in front of me, if you didn't already realize that. Oh my god, this- somebody around where I live has a dog that is like always off their leash, always not being taken care of, and I don't want to be the one to call animal control, but I'm about to be there. <laughs> like they don't care about this dog or something if your dog is not good can't stay in the yard you need to have it on a lead you know one of my dogs is like that and he has to be on a lead if i'm not in there with him or out there with him i actually like a really choppy like hair that's like a million different lengths like a very 2000 or, like some choppy highlights choppy choppy highlights oh my god you guys i am literally covered in hair like i'm covered in cat hair or something oh my gosh i'm literally covered in hair <laughs> try as hard as possible when i'm doing my own hair to get sides as even as possible remember you can always cut more off but you can't get hair back so i go slowly what do you guys think you think that's pretty even Good enough right yes bitch fingers crossed it comes out looking okay we're about to get to the top half which side should we do first we'll do the left side since i suck at the right side of stuff doesn't seem like we cut a lot off guys but we did we cut about a good two or three inches off i take small pieces and i can see from underneath where the shorter pieces are and then that's where i cut And then I just keep doing that, lining it up, cutting, lining up, cutting. 
kind of cutting downwards a little bit. I don't know. I have very fine hair, so a lot of hairstylists say that the choppy look doesn't look good on fine hair, but I like it. I always wanted my hair super choppy when I was younger, but again, hairstylists would always be like, oh, it won't make your hair look good, so I never would get it done. Oh, I just do it to myself. <laughs> my hair is obviously super dead because I bleach it so much. Hair to me is such a form of expression that I just love to do different things to my hair. I don't feel very like emotionally tied to my hair either, but a lot of people do. So if you feel that way, don't cut your own hair. I remember the first time I ever shaved my head, I was like, I regretted it the next day so bad because I still had such an emotional attachment to my hair and now I'm to the point where like it doesn't matter. Let me know in the comments down below if you would ever shave your head. Would you do it? Does it scare the living bahiji bejeebies out of you? I'm really curious because a lot of people wouldn't do it. A lot of females wouldn't do it. I know men that wouldn't even do it either. Do you think some people don't have a choice they have to do it whether it's for medical reasons or cancer we have the option so aren't we so blessed we are very blessed to have that option first time i ever shaved my head too it wasn't really like my option i was in a mentally abusive relationship and they had told me that if i loved them i would shave my head when in reality they just wanted me to do that because they didn't want me to be attractive to anybody else it was my decision but it wasn't like my decision if that makes sense oh i love how choppy she is I let it all hang like I'm doing now and then I kind of just go in and see if there's any little spots that I don't really like and I mean I am constantly cutting pieces of my hair off. <laughs> I have scissors like everywhere in my house because I'm constantly cutting pieces off but I don't know especially after I'm done bleaching it and like being really rough on my hair I just like to give it a little chip 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 clip 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 I don't know, I just started cutting my hair when I cut all my hair off. And I've just been doing it ever since. <laughs> so that was like winter sometimes. Sometime in winter I did that. I don't know. I just like to do it. And I do it I do it different every time. And I find myself more confident in what I'm doing every time. It's just hair. And I just like having fun cutting it. I don't know. It sounds weird, but I used to do this when I was a teenager and I loved it and now I do it again. In case you were wondering, this is what the back looks like. I'll be looking on the edited footage to know if it looks absolutely horrendous or if it looks gorgeous, darling. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or you can give it a thumbs down. Whatever you choose to do is okay with me. Let me know in the comments down below if you would ever cut your hair at home or if you have and how did it go? I'm really curious how it went. And don't forget, if you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.